Okay, you guys, so I'm honestly struggling to come up with content for Vlogmas, so this is gonna be a fairly quick video. Hey guys, I'm Kay and you've arrived at my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller, mostly on eBay and Poshmark. I do also have accounts on Depop and Mercari and I have an antique booth um, local to me. And in this video, we are going to shop for Toys for Tots. So if you watched yesterday's video where I took you to the bins my first time there in over a year and did the haul portion, I mentioned that I bought a Little People Frozen toy set. It was brand new, still had the tags and the packaging and I said that I was going to donate that to Toys for Tots. So I'm going to do that today. We're gonna to go over to Target and pick up some toys and books and then run across the street to donate them um, to some kids in need. So I've been doing this for the last couple years. Um, the company that I work for full time is now a large corporation, but before it got acquired a few times, we were a small mom and pop outfit and every year um, we would adopt a family that was local to our office location. And I loved it. I participated every year. We were wrapped all the presents. Um, in the case of Toys for Tots, you don't have to wrap them. You're just supposed to drop them off brand new toys and they will do the wrapping. But we had to wrap them for the family that we adopted. Now that I work for a big corporation, I really miss being able to do that. Um, I might not always be able to. I might not always have expendable funds that I could use to help others in need. Um, so I wanna keep doing it as long as I can. So we're gonna go to Target, find some toys. I'm also gonna bring the little people set that I just mentioned, and we're gonna go donate them. So it's gonna be a really quick video for you guys. Hopefully a little entertaining. Like I said, it's a bit of a struggle to come up with content that is entertaining and also within your niche so here on youtube i am you know a thrifter a reseller and then i use that money to travel um so this isn't exactly in that wheelhouse but we are going to go to the store together and shop for these little kids so that they can have a good christmas and here we go all right guys i'm here let's go inside Okay guys, it's packed in here because you know, it's a week before Christmas, um, so I don't know how much footage I'm gonna get, but I am going to try to get toys for both boys and girls, and also books in a wide variety of age ranges. I usually try to stick to a budget between 100 and 150 dollars, and I wanna get the most bang for my buck, so here we go. Okay, so I found these Baby Alive Glow Pixie Minis. They are buy one, get one 50% off, $11.99. They only had one pink one, so I got a pink and a blue. And then these Play-Doh sets are also buy one, get one 50% off. So I got two different sets of scents, one with mint chocolate, one with watermelon. I mean, how can I ignore this completely adorable packaging? So as I struggle to get one out, Aphmo, it's got one mystery plush. These are some of the plush that you can get. Okay, so these LOL surprise dolls are on sale 50% off. They were $12, now they are six. And I grabbed the last two that they had. Um, it's kind of bare in here. And Liv used to collect these, so I know that kids are into them. <laughs> um, I'm hoping they still are anyway. And judging by how bare the shelf is for the LOL dolls, I'm guessing they still are. Okay, so I always try to get some type of Lego product because, you know, the kids go crazy over them. So I got this Lego Black Panther set. This one is $10. And then this one's not technically Lego. It is Mega Constructs, um, but this is Pokemon. Um, I know Pokemon is still a thing. And this is actually Livy's favorite starter. So I feel like she would support this decision. It is the only one they had though. It's sacrilege if I don't get a Squishmallow right. Um, this is the only Squishville pack they have with the burger and I think that's a taco. So I will grab one of these for $14. Okay, I got one little kid's book because you know, it's got cute elephants on it. I got one bigger kid's book because I want to spread the Harry Potter love. And then I got one of these because I was obsessed with these when I was a kid. Um, so I want to spread that joy too. I also got this Hot Wheels monster truck because it's Jurassic World beta themed and you guys know if you've been around my channel that I love dinosaurs and Jurassic Park, the original from the 90s is my all time favorite movie. Okay, I picked up a couple more like car type of things. Um, my daughter is a teenager, so I'm A, not great with boy toys and B, not good with toys for smaller children. 
So I'm trying here. I think regardless, the kids are gonna be happy to get toys for Christmas and I'm happy to be able to give that to them um, since I can. So let me know what you guys would have bought for Toys for Tots down in the comments below. Um, maybe next year I can take some of your comments into consideration to help me out because I am struggling to find stuff that you know they say on the website to go around the $10 mark for toys so that's what I'm trying to stick to but it's really hard guys I also got this Bakugan Evolutions um, it was like the only one they had in that section so they must be a hot toy um, I think this is only $6.99 so I'm gonna get it and hopefully some little kid will enjoy it I also got one of these for smaller kids because every kid should get to enjoy one of these I definitely had one as a kid and I think this is going to be the last thing I pick up, again, for smaller kids. Um, another thing is I try to pick up things that don't require batteries because batteries can be expensive and not every parent has them on hand. So I try to take that into consideration when I am picking out my toys for Toys for Tots. Toys acquired. Okay guys, so sorry for the poor lighting, but we are done shopping. Um, I spent $155 total. It was $145 for all of the toys plus the um, sales tax. So I did stay within budget. I said $100 to $150 and all the toys cost $145. I'm not counting the tax in that, of course, because that's not the actual amount of the toy. It's just... To the state and not you know to anyone else's benefit but anyways now i have to go and try and find a place to donate i thought there was one within this same plaza there used to be like a sign out front on the main road that said toys for tots donations it's no longer there um so i have to kind of look around and see if i can find one but in any event my shopping is done everything's all set and this doesn't mean that i won't you know go shopping tomorrow at a thrift store and find a new toy and won't pick it up because i already made my donation it really doesn't matter i'm just gonna donate because i can i have the means to right now and like i said earlier i might not all Always, so I want to take advantage while I can this isn't about me so I'm not gonna you know give you a spiel about my sob story growing up it's about these kids and that's why I'm doing this to help the kids so that's it for this video thank you guys so so much for watching I really appreciate it I know this is not my typical content it's not something you know that really falls within what people come to my YouTube channel for but I do think it's important um, so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it at any point please give me a big thumbs up it really helps me out here on YouTube to know what type of content you enjoy seeing from me and if you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing i would love to have you here in my weird little family on the internet and i'll see you tomorrow bye